Good morning, this is Romel Magkalas, your subject teacher for Information and Communications Technology, Computer Hardware Servicing Line, Understanding Computer. Classification of Computers Mainframe Computers Mini Computers Servers Super Computers Micro Computers Mainframe computers. Large organizations use mainframes for highly critical applications such as bulk data processing. Have the capacities to host multiple operating systems and operate as a number of virtual machines and can substitute for several small servers. Mini computers. In terms of size and processing capacity, mini computers lie in between mainframes and microcomputers, also called mid-range systems or workstations. The term began to be popularly used in the 1960s to refer to re relatively small third-generation computers. Servers Computers Designed to provide services to client machines in computer network. Have larger storage capacity and powerful processors. Running on them are programs that serve client requests and allocate resources like memory and time client machines. Usually, they are very large in size as they have large processors and many hard drives. Designed to be fail-safe and resistant to crash. Supercomputers The highly calculation-intensive task can be effectively performed by means of supercomputers. Quantum physics, mechanics, weather forecasting, molecular theory are best studied by means of supercomputers. Their ability of parallel processing and their well-designed memory hierarchy give the supercomputers large transaction processing powers. Microcomputers do not occupy space as much as mainframes do. Supplemented with a keyboard and a mouse, microcomputers can be called personal computers. A monitor a keyboard and other similar input or output devices, computer memories, in the form of RAM and a power supply unit come packaged in a microcomputer. These computers can fit on desks or tables and prove to be the best choice for single-user tasks. Thank you for listening. This has been Sir O.